So it's fairly common in Blender to have an object that you want to duplicate. Maybe you're making a table and you've designed the leg just right and you want to duplicate it so you don't have to do the work over again and so that the other legs of the table are exactly the same. Now there's two different ways that we'll be able to duplicate in Blender and there's some subtlety between doing it in edit mode versus object mode. So here on my screen, you can see we have a cube and let's just pretend we want to duplicate this. Easiest way to duplicate this is to press shift and then D and I can move it around. It'll follow my mouse cursor. While it's doing this, I can also press one of the letters of the axes, say Y, and I can slide it along the Y axis or the X axis, like so, which is pretty handy to separate it so that they, you don't get confused and sitting on top of each other. If I do this in edit mode, so if I go into edit mode by pressing tab, by default, my entire object has been selected. And if I press shift D and I then press Y to move it on the Y axis, you can see that I get a second cube just like expected. But the issue here is that because we've done it in edit mode, it's going to be treated as if it is a single object. And we can see that if we go back to object mode, you can see that both of them are selected. If I unselect them and then select one of them, they're both selected, which can be a little bit of a problem. But we're going to talk about that in the next video about how to separate objects and how to join objects if you want to do this intentionally. The second way to duplicate objects in Blender is a linked duplication. And what that does is the two objects are going to share the same data. That's useful if you want to duplicate these objects and then change one of them and have that change propagated to all the linked duplicates. So the way we do that is we select our object, then we press Alt and D and I'm going to press Y again to slide it on the Y axis. Now these are separate objects. I can select them separately. I can move them separately. I can do all of that. Blender is going to treat them as two separate objects. However, if I press tab to go into edit mode and then grab one of the vertices and pull it up, you can see that it moves on both objects. It's pretty handy under the right circumstances, but can be a little bit confusing if that's not what you want to do.